Hey boys, we're finally back again with another raise map guide, and today we're back to Ascent. Now, Ascent, it's not Raze's greatest map in the world, but I don't think it's that bad either. It's it's a very like it's a very specific map. You kind of have to play it in a specific way. Like it's not as easy as a jet on Ascent, or you know what I mean. One of the more meta picks on Ascent, but it's definitely still a strong pick. Like I always say, Raze is great on just about every single map except breeze but that one's out in the map pool so we're all chilling at the moment but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be not too long of a video it's gonna be a decent one but yeah anyway if you want uh if you enjoy the video like it and sub all that shit and uh if you want to see more let me know what maps you want to see in the future and also if any of you are interested in coaching i also do coaching just dm me on discord you can join the discord below and uh yeah let's go all right, so starting out on defense A. Now, defense A, it's honestly, it's pretty standard. Majority of the time, I'd say 80% of the time, you're going to start here and you're going to hover with a nade. Now, if you watch Jing, you'll see him do this all the time, right? You're just going to chill here with your nade and you can do a lot of things with this nade, right? Sometimes you'll see Omens TP across here. If Omens TP there, you've already got your nade out, you can just bounce it off this wall. Either TP's back out or he kills, or it just straight up kills him easy enough other ways you can do it you want this with a one way right so if you can get an omen a brim an astra any of those people to one way this it's way easier to contest the same in but yeah you can just toss your nade over here that should land just around right there it'll kill anyone in that area or if there's just too many people you can just toss your nade more in the open just kind of stop them or you can completely give it up right now if there's no noise enemy are kind of quiet there's nothing going on around the map you can toss a boombot out here, just for some information, right? This boombot won't do much other than just give you some info, right? It'll, he'll let you know what's going on, what's happening over here. If there's anyone waiting, it'll tag a guy, whatever, right? Let's say there's no one there, right? Also, if you're playing pistol round, you're usually going to be starting a frenzy in this position. It's just too good. This gun is very, very, very strong. Now, a lot of the times, you'll see nothing here. It'll just be empty. You usually want to rotate around over towards this area, right? And this is the problem with this map, is I can't really just talk about A site if I don't want to talk about mid. Because mid is super important, right? You'll usually rotate around this area, and then you can fight for this. Right? If you have a satchel, let's say the enemy will start pushing up market, you can satchel up here. Easy enough for you. But yeah, the other place I like starting on this map is on pistol round. Sometimes I'll buy a sheriff, or I'll just go ghost. If I go Sheriff, I really like doing this, right? I'll, I will cross like this, and I'll toss a nade over this way. And I'll just stop this peak from happening. This way, I can come over and just take the cross, and then I can keep jiggling this angle for free kills, right? Bang, bang. Pretty, pretty standard. And if you're on a buy round as well, it's still pretty good. Really strong if you have a teammate here with you. Because you can, you can get your fight like this, right? Let's say you do this, and you kill a guy, right? You can come back to this position. If you have a teammate here, he can peek before you. Enemy just forget about you. They think you're gone. You're still over here. And then you can get multi-kills from this position, right? Very strong if the enemy are hard pushing mid. You can also get this little angle here towards market side. Really nice little position. Or you can just, let's say, you can even op this position, right? Come out, op this, and you can fall back to over here. You still have your nade at that point. You can just use your nade anywhere like that. You can cut the enemy off. You can bounce it off that wall. Just just try and, you know, separate the enemies, right? The way you want this nade to go, your nade's very important in this map, by the way. The way you want your nade to go is you want, like, two enemies here, and then maybe one or two have to push past the nade, right? So they have to just swing out, and now it's unfair fight for them, because they're in the middle of running away, and you're not. You know what I mean? So it's a lot easier for you. And that's the main ways of fighting it. Now, you can also play towards backside. I don't find myself here as much. I don't think you have the utility to fight this. I don't think it's very strong. But you can also just kind of chuck nades in the choke. Don't bounce it off the corner here. It's kind of unlucky, but... You know, you just want your nades to kind of land in the choke. You can also do like a jumping nade like that. I'll toss it in the choke. Just something along these lines, getting the nade into the choke, but you want it around there so they kind of have to exit. Other way is like here. That's a strong one, but again, I think fighting for main with your nade is much stronger than those positions. Now, the only other spot here that is good. Now, this is the only map, I would say, where like raise rockets or like, you know, the, the classic satchel plays are actually kind of good, right? 
so you've got your one on gen here, right? You can get on here without a satchel. I'm just doing it because I have infinite abilities. You want to toss your satchel around here. And you can just run and fly out, right? I, I'll, I'll perfect it now and I'll get you a better one. But that is like the play, right? You can go above the top and it's really strong. Something along those lines. Obviously, you know, don't die to fall damage, but... That kind of satchel is very, very strong on this map. And that's essentially a site. Now, retake. I find myself a lot of the time retaking from this position. I think it's pretty good because if you have Boombot, you can clear this area over here just with the Boombot. It'll just stop anyone from being able to lurk around this position. Very good. Or you can also just kind of Boombot off of this thing I find myself doing. Not going backwards, obviously. Just kind of tossing my Boombot like this and trying to fight for it. Give you some information. And you also have some good nades here on the retake, right? So this kind of nade's very strong. Not like that. I'm sorry. If you bounce it off this wall, you'll see it'll bounce right behind there. Also a very good attacking nade, which I will bring it back up on attack. You've got like this nade. Bounce behind Jen. They have to peek one of the sides. Pretty much fucked if they're there. And of course, you can always nade hell. And they have to peek or just die. So there's your simple plays. The last play I want to talk about, of course, you can rock up from heaven. It's very simple, very easy. I don't think I need to go over that. You legit can just rock it out any way you want. You can get crazy. You can be standard. It doesn't really matter. You can literally just do this. And it's a really good rocket. So don't really have to talk about it. Other kind of plays I like to do, if I have a shorty eye like this one, I will just run and satchel over here while they're planting the bomb, or just afterwards. Really solid. I've actually just won rounds from this. It just costs a shorty and a satchel. So if you're on these lower buys, you know, you can just have your shorty and try and pop a guy. Very easy. You want it around this area because it's hard to trade you. Going for someone under here, very easy to trade you, but satcheling out on this gen position is very good. Also, another one is just on top of this instead, rather than going around. And those are like my favorite kind of retake plays. I don't find myself flanking too much. Usually the enemy have got a pump where it's harder to flank. But if I do flank, it's kind of standard. Same way you would attack it. So we'll just move ahead on. All right. So this is a defense. You see I hover the nade and I'm getting almond flash. So we just throw the nade. Toss the boom bot just for stop them from taking the space. End up barely spotting the jet there. So I end up killing them. At this point now, it's 5v4 retake, so it's kind of chill for us. So you see, I just wait around for teammates. Just do a bit of spamming, hopefully try and catch a guy through the wall. Don't like the 1v1 with an Ares. You can see we start closing in. You see, my Sova loses his drone after he gets tagged here. So I know I have to make some sort of play. Satchel out on top of Jin. Satchel backwards around, pick up the sky, and then the last guy gets tagged 100, and we end up picking up the round. Alright, so mid, I never find myself too much in this position. If I'm fighting for mid, I'm usually playing towards A short. For the same reasons I already talked about. I just think it's a better angle, better fight for raise. A lot more of your abilities have impact here. Like here, the only real play you can do is like nade over here. And then you can try and fight top mid for those couple seconds. But again, it's not the best position. I think if you're playing mid, you're more playing towards market. You would also want the Vandal in this position if you want to actually take these fights. But the only real thing you can do is just play towards B here. Your, your character isn't the greatest for fighting in this mid area. Especially not on defense. Unless you want to make some plays. Let's say you have a KO, a Breach or something. They can flash towards here. And then you can satchel your way in and try and pop off. That's like the extent of what you can do from this bottom mid position. Other than that, you're pretty much just taking gunfights. I'm not really going to go too in-depth on just taking gunfights, you know what I mean? But you can get your teammates to use util here, but your utility is just not the best here. Best thing you can do is kind of come up around this area. You can boom over there, he'll give you some info. And that's kind of about it, right? You have, like, you can go up into this little position here, and you can watch short. And you can also go for some sort of crazy plays with a rocket here, right? Coming as they are hit in sight, you can hit them from the back. And just hit them pretty hard with a rocket and there you go that's essentially it from this bottom mid position like that's why i think the short a position is better which again you've got the little plays i was already talking about plus if they're already up mid you can just satchel on top of this thing and take a really really strange gunfight the enemies won't expect a lot of the times you'll kill them and they'll just be like wow i hate rays 
What should we like? The other play you can do here is just play towards market and just fight for this main area here. I usually hover my nade like this if I'm playing market. I'm not playing market very often, but if I am, I will just be hovering my nade like this. You can also throw your nade through the window. Like this. But really good if you have a teammate who wants to peek. Like, let's say the enemy start, like, taking space here and you've got a teammate who's trying to peek. You can toss an aid like this and push up with him and try and help this guy just get a free kill. Really split the enemy off. Pretty good. But that's a really good segue into just going on to B. So we'll just move to B. Alright, so B is very good for predicting the enemy, right? So if you have a feeling the enemy are going to rush B main, for whatever reason, you just have that gut feeling... You can do the same play you do on A. Now, the reason we do it less on B is because most of the time, like 80% of the time, you're going to have like a Killjoy or a Cypher set up here. So it's just easier for you to hold A main than it is for like your Killjoy or Cypher to hold A. So that's the main reason of why we don't play here as much. Like this play is completely fine, right? If you think the enemy are going to rush this, you can just hover your nade like this, the exact same way you do on an A main. Toss the nade, and you can either wide swing it like this, and start pushing towards it. I can go super hard, just toss the nade like this. And look for a fight. And as the nade's going off, you have a lot of cover, and then you can just run back. You just got your free kill. Other reason you would come B is enemy Killjoy ult. Now, Killjoy is really strong in this map, probably your best map. Usually, they ulti either behind this box or on top of this box, right? If they do it on top of this box, your Sova can shoot it with an Odin. If they do it here, it's kind of on you. Now, you can just nade like this. And that will just straight up kill the kill drill anywhere it is. So that's your best way to actually just destroy it. Is If you think the enemy are going to kill drill B, you just kind of stand over here. Also, nade up through this little window. And boom. Other reason, if you have rocket, you can also play here. You can do a couple different things. I like this rocket because... It always catches people, I feel. And it's pretty much risk-free, right? So you can just chill here, waiting. And then you can just jump up and shoot your rocket through the window. I've gotten four mans with that rocket. It's kind of wild. And if you want to go really balls to the wall, you can get, like, an omen to flash this for you. Or just do something crazy. Breach anything. Even just a sober dart. And then you can just satchel at the start of the round. And you don't want to do a satchel like that. You want to go, like, really fast in, okay? So we want to, you know, throw our satchel down like this. It's hard to, it's hard to satchel when you talk. You do it like this, satchel out, something along those lines, and you clear all of B main. And you can take mid from this angle too, if you find nobody here. And at that point, you've just given all of this space to your team. And if you see nobody, that means they're all in this area. So your teammates can all rotate really quickly. Now, B retake... It's kind of awkward. And again, I wouldn't really be playing any of these other angles too much. I don't... Like, your Sentinel's usually going to be playing here, so I don't start here most of the time. This is more of a rotate angle here. I wouldn't really be starting here, unless it's, like, very specific and I want to nade the choke like this. Other plays you can do, if Jet dashes out, you can just nade off like this. Or if you think she's there, you nade off there. And again, actually, I do want to mention the same thing on A-Main with your Boombot. You want more information, just throw your Boombot. Just anywhere along this wall, he'll bounce out and he'll give you more info. Give you some more ideas of what kind of plays you want to make. Those are the main ones. Now, for retake, we got a really nice rocket here. I'll just show on this angle here. So we can run out and rocket kind of like this. Ideal if the rocket knocks you back into cover. Kind of like that. A lot of times this will get smoked and stuff. If you manage to get backwards with the rocket, it's perfect. Exactly the way you want it, but sometimes you can't you can't choose where you have to shoot it. So again, you can do multiple plays. You can come over the top, just like that. Same plays for market as well. You can actually just go straight to sight with this. So you can fly around completely. Just get yourself into the action. Cause chaos. We like that on a retake. We don't want the enemy to just be able to sit back and let... 1v1s keep happening. If we cause chaos as our teammates start coming out, very good for us. So we like that. Other than that, you've just got standard plays for retake. I, it's not too in-depth on this retake. I'd boom out somewhere along these lines. Anywhere you ha like have information on the enemy already, I like that one there off this wall. If I have no information, I'll just kind of bounce it like this and then I'll hold for here. 
in my boom bolt will come out, it'll clear these little angles, but I don't think it will clear close unless you do it very specifically for close. I don't like that. Those are essentially retake spots. Big one, you want to be wallbanging through here. You can even ping it on the map if you want. A lot of people like to sit here. Just wallbang here. Might get a free kill out of it. A lot of times you will see people just chilling there. And here you also have an aid for this back box. You have a couple, you can bounce it off this wall if you cut out wide enough. Or you can just nade back here, right in the middle. And this is guaranteed to hit anyone who's back here. Like it won't kill, it will kill them if they're in this corner, but it won't kill them if they're over there. But it's guaranteed to do damage. So another good nade for the retake there. And that's essentially just defense for Raze on this map. So let's move to attack. All right, so we're going to start off with the simple one, and we're just going to start off A. Now, I will have to talk about mid here. I will try. Uh, I'll keep it. I'll keep it the way. Now, we'll start off again just with A attack, just because we started off A defense. And this position, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, we usually like jumping up on top of this box. It gives us a really nice angle. And if you see no one on this first peak here, you just want a boom bot like this. Give you a bit more information. And now... You have two options at this point. You can instantly just go if your team are ready to go. Or you can slow it down. This is the boombot gives you that option, right? Now, if you want to go, you want to throw your satchel around here. And you can just go out straight towards Jen. Now, you can you can perfect the satchel down. I'm just going to show you the satchels, you know what I mean? You can practice these in the custom games, try and get them down perfectly. But you want to throw your satchel around this area. You see this little light here? It's like an L shape. You want to throw it just somewhere around that area. And, of course, this one's very good for rockets as well. Very strong with a rocket launcher. You could actually make it all the way up to heaven if you do a double satchel plus rocket. Like this. See if I make a first try here. I don't. But you can make it up to heaven. All the way from over here, which is crazy. If you want to get really, really, like, creative, you can try and do those. See if I can get it here. You can, you can kind of do it like that, but you can get it perfectly where they don't even see anything. But that's one play. Your other play, now, that's like the most standard one. I would always try and jump up here and do your boom bot. If your teammates are body blocking you and stuff, you can throw the boom bot, come down here. It's the same kind of thing. Grab the orb. And at this point, now you've got a couple nades, right? You, you can nade your thing off the back wall there. We'll kill anyone behind the dice. Or, or you can nade kind of like this. You'll see it'll land around there. If you think they're more towards that area, you can nade more like this. And this will force them to peek out if you walk out like this. So it's a really strong nade there. And of course, you've got your nades hell. Let's say the enemy or your team Killjoy ult this. And you assume that there's going to be a guy hell, right? Because Killjoy ult only covers like yeah. this area here. You can always use your nade on hell then. You've got your nade for heaven. Same thing with Killjoy here as well. A lot of times you'll have people hiding behind that box. You've got your nades there. And if you manage to keep your boombot, you can jump throw your boombot like this. Usually, I'm satcheling out on this area, right? As Jet, I like dashing out here. As Razor, I like satcheling out there. And you can, of course, satchel on Gen too. But the problem is, if you fuck up the satchel, it's a bit more annoying for you. Right, you can get your satchel like that and come on, on top of the guy. But if you mess it up, you're going to go a lot slower than you want to on this entry. Because you want when you're entering out with satchels, you want to be fast and you want to get near cover. Right? You don't want to do a satchel like this, right? This is like even even worse, right? I've seen low elo players try and satchel, right? They kind of just go out. That was actually kind of good. <laughs> but you know what I mean? They go super high in the air and you just die instantly. We don't like that. We like going fast. We like getting near cover and we like isolating on one of the on our satchels. That's how we want to do it. And that's how we want to use our nades. So whatever way here, I've shown you a couple nades. Whatever way you think you'll be able to create those 1v1s, that's the way you want to do it. And you can satchel out here. You can even satchel out towards dice as well. Don't get me wrong. You can do that. Let's say you satchel here. Something like that. There's a lot of options here on this A site. And sometimes your teammates will get a pick and stuff. You can just walk out and satchel up on top of this thing. And chill here already for post plant, which is where I'll go, is into post plant. I won't yet, actually. I lied to you. My bad. I'm a liar. The other play is coming and taking this doorway, right? Really strong. If the enemy have kills real, you check this pre-round. And a lot of the time, this is why mid is so important, is because you want that area there. 
you can toss your boom bot somewhere along these lines and try and take this space so that they can't just get a free kill drill, right? In that scenario, I don't want the door closed. If my teammates close the door, I will break the door. But that is the main thing there. And this is also, sorry, I'm still not very well. This is also a good position for post plant. Is this kind of area where you're chilling here. Of course, you have to watch your back on mid, but this is also a very good area for post plant. Most common area you'll find yourself in is around here. Very, very strong one. You can keep switching all your angles. You can try and check towards door. You can try and check the drop here. You can try and check the drops everywhere. That one is probably the most common one I find myself in. Or on top of this thing. This one's more risky. I usually like standing on the, the edge of this. So I can drop down very quickly if I ever have to. And that's essentially a pulse plan. I never really go back main. It's not the position you want to be in raise. It's just not great. And yeah, that's essentially attack. I'll go over mid, which will include this whole area here. So let's go. As you can see here, we're on the ascent attack and we're just going for the standard plays here. You see Silver Drone A main. Just peek out, tap the orb. We go for the boom bot there and the nade towards dice. I end up getting flashed, but I see we get a pick on sight. So I just satchel straight out. Looks like the omen just TP'd his way out. But at this point now, we pretty much get into post plant from here. And this is kind of the post plant position. I like, I, I always find myself in this position in hell. So, you know, we just basically wait for the enemy to make a move. Ends up being a 2v3. Spot one guy coming out tree. Get myself a 1v1 there. Find another 1v1. Toss the nade. And this guy gets called he's low. So I just run and gun him. And we end up picking up the round. Alright, so mid, it's a lot dependent on what your plan is. Now, you can default mid, which I will show you as well, where you just kind of take mid space and just leave it there. But if you want to split A, I will show you that one first, because uh, we just went over A, so we might as well talk about splitting A now. Splitting A, I did not mean to rock it. Splitting A, you want this place here smoked, right? You want bottom mid smoked, and you want to start scaling up here. Now, a lot of the times, you'll want a teammate here, and you'll want the teammate watching. Uh, of course, if you're splitting A, you'll have multiple teammates here. But you want one guy with you, right? A lot of times, this will get smoked. If it doesn't get smoked, you can clear these angles. You know, just check in your standard stuff, whatever. If this does get smoked, you'll have to boom bot this. You can't save your boom bot, unless, like, if it is smoked. And you'll try and clear that area here. Now, if it's not smoked, and this area is smoked instead, that's fine. Because now we can throw our Boomba. I usually throw it around here. And I'll spray here. And at that point then, you can try and do any sort of way of taking this, right? You want to wait for your teammates here. So you kind of collapse in at the same time. That Boomba will give you the info if there's anyone in this area. And at this point, very, very easy for you to try and split, right? If you get, let's say your teammates here get a pick and you get a pick here. You can go crazy and just try and, you know, scale up into their spawn and start really going hard on them. Or you can just relax, bring it back to the bomb. It's it's kind of down to your call there. Just know that that is a play. Other plays, by the way, I forgot to mention on A. I'm more back on A now, so you might as well. You can also jump up on top of this thing and start throwing your nades around here. Stuff like this. Also very strong for A post plan. But at that point there, sometimes you'll come here and you'll just already have A site. And now you're already in that great post plant position I was talking about. So that is very strong. Very easy place to just take. Now you can also just default this, right? Going into the A default or the mid default now. You can just kind of take this space and then chill for a bit and see what the enemy do, right? Because when you have all of this on the map, the enemies start getting scared. They start over rotating. It's very good, right? So let's say you do this and you throw a Boomba over here. A lot of the times, there will be like three people on A now. A lot of them started coming over and rotating. If that happens, at this point, you can say, no, no, cancel. Let's just go B. And then you can start trying to go up towards market instead. At this point, you'll still probably have a nade. So you can either nade here or just nade market, whichever one you think is more scary. And if you still have any other teammate you tell... You can try and clear these corners, but majority of the time, if you're taking this area, it's probably clear. You can spam these, and then you can start taking the space. At this point now, we're going into more of a B split. 
That's why it's very good to have teammates on either side, is so that you can always pull back and you can just hit the other side. That's kind of how Ascent works. Mid control is so important on this map because it just it stops the enemy from being able to just rotate around so freely. And of course, you see how small these chokes are on either side. If you send five people to that, you're usually just going to lose now. So at that point, then you can go more for the B split, right? Which we're going to go over now. You can also default this area here. I usually like standing here and tossing my nade up like this. So you can run jump. You don't this I kind of aim around here. You can run jump, it'll go straight over. And it'll land right there so no one can peek you. So I'll usually come out like that. Round will start. I'll throw my nade. I'll peek like this. And at this point now, I usually bounce my boomba off that wall after I clear that tiny area. Majority of the time you want to have a soba dart this, okay? Silver so darting this is very, very good because it will clear these annoying two angles for you that you don't really want to spend time clearing. So I would ask for your silver dart and your smoke short. Your nade kind of assures you can save the nade if the enemy are respecting the smoke. If they're not respecting the smoke, I would use the nade. But then you have your boom bot there and you start scaling up and you can start taking this position here. A lot of the times there'll be a killjoy alarm bot here. So you can break it and either satchel and swing the guy who's playing market, or you can break it and chill for a sec and see what it, you know what his response is to your boom bot. Sometimes he'll wide swing you, sometimes he'll just wait for you. But you can know, go for your satchel peek, do something crazy, just be aware of this angle here. This one gets people killed a lot. And at this point, you want this smoked as well, if you're splitting B. It's very good for you. Which is why the nade here is also very good, because if you nade this off, it kind of gives you cover, you see, with the nade. And then you can start splitting B very, very easily from this. And once you have market control, it's a lot easier to actually hit this site. You can turn this into a lurk. If your teammates are going 4B main, I would do the same kind of thing. I would toss my nade up here. Just know you're more on your own now. If it's like 4-1. But you can cause pressure here. The enemy will start, you know, panicking. There's probably going to be a guy staying here. Maybe there's still two people on 8. You can abuse their rotations very, very hard just by sending just even one guy mid there. And Raze is very good at it because if you nade that, they can't stop you. If you boom bot this, they can't stop you. So it's just really strong. Now, there's no real crazy rockets from this position. It's just kind of standard. You see, it's kind of whatever. But that is like how I would usually be playing mid. You can always pull back and go and hit the other site. Same thing here. If I default up here and I use my boom bot, you know, Boombot scales in here. I can just go back and pick A instead. Always have options with mid. It's really, really good. But we'll move ahead on to B main now. Alright, so this round I end up going for some mid control here. And I end up rotating back around towards B. So you see I nade this off just in case the enemy have any ops. Don't spot anything. End up coming out here. Doing the boombot. Spot the jet. Take the 1v1 on her. End up winning this. And you can see at this point, we spot one more in market. My omen comes up, flashes market. I get tagged by that little trip there, the chamber trip. At this point now, the round starts getting a little bit... I feel like a lot of the enemies have rotated over towards B site. And there's the Sova drone now as well. So I end up calling here to just pull back. And the enemy will think that we're going A here, but I call go B. And you see we come over, take B site, I jiggle the op. We pick him up. Just double satchel towards CT. Catch the omen off. And then we end up picking up the round. And then we finally have B main. B main, not bad at all. Not bad at all. You just have to be very aware that people fast rotate here. People play back site. It's, it can be a bit annoying, but it's not bad. So usually I will have my omen blind this if I don't have an omen. If I really need to, let's say they're playing like ops and shit. I will boom bot something like this. This boom bot will clear this corner. You'll bounce back around. Something like that. Or you can bounce the boom bot off the wall like this. He'll catch this guy standing here. So there you have like two boom bots if you want to clear B main. Or you can just omen blind it. It makes everything much easier for you. Now after you omen blind it, I'll usually bounce a boom bot off this wall. And this is where your nade comes in, right? You have to think about where you want to use your nade here. Because you can nade mark it here or here. Right, they're the best nades. This market one, if the enemy, like, you have to kind of think about how the enemy are playing, right? This market one's very good 
to just stop the market flood from coming out. This one is very good if the rounds start. It's if your B main pressure has lasted long, and you think the people have rotated towards CT already, that one's very good. And this one is also just very good, just to stop those killjoys and ciphers from peeking you out here. Uh, you can choose one of these three nades, and then you can just go and satchel out the same way you always would, right? So usually you want to kind of get over here, right? You can just do a satchel like that. Just go out, close the door, and then you can start scaling onto the site. Also, another reason the shorty is broken, by the way, you can just shorty this angle as well. You can afford a shorty. It's just a silly little weapon. And then you can just start scaling onto the site. At this point, you pretty much have no abilities. There's nothing else I can really say about Raze here. It's about clearing this back site area. Sometimes they'll play there. Sometimes Omen will ult there. It's just up to you now to clear these different angles, right? Standard ways of peeking them. I can't really go in depth about that. We're out of abilities pretty much at that point. Now your other play is, you have two other plays, right? The same places you are nading is the same places you can kind of go, right? So sometimes I'll nade market, and I'll just satchel into market nade. I'll just push up like this. It can be very, very strong. You can catch so many people off guard. It's a really good switch up, right? Or you can do this one and satchel pretty much into your nade. If you, you want to kind of win, I know I talk about this a lot, right? Satcheling into your nade. You want to kind of do it, like, here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, you kind of want to do it in the second half of the nade blowing up. Or the first half. Because you don't want to take the brunt of the damage, right? You want to take a little bit of the damage, but you don't want to take, like, 60 damage from your own nade. So you want it to, like, already kind of blow up, or you want to be there, like, instantly. See what I mean? Either instantly when the nade's blowing up, or you want to be on the second half of the nade blowing up, where half of them are already, like, clustered. And your other play is just satcheling towards CT. So you can do any sort of nade and just start pushing into CT and catching another guy off guard, right? Very, very... I like it these plays when i have another duelist where i don't mind going for some sort of crazy play on a different angle right but of course splitting b here is very nice because just satcheling out b main it's kind of cringe it's not the greatest thing in the world and the other play we have here is the standard b rocket right satchel around here you can satchel all the way out here you see how easy it is to take these bomb sites when you have rocket it's so much easier for you Majority of the time, like when I rush B or A main, it's when I have a rocket. Right? You can do some plays like this. You can also, uh, this one's quite hard, but you can satchel above this little rooftop here on the boathouse. It's quite hard, so I don't. Like, if you can practice it properly, you can go for it in game, but it is quite difficult to actually master. Because that's a big curve, you know what I mean? But it is possible to satchel over this rooftop and go onto the site with it as well. I'm not going to show it off here because it's going to take way too much time. I haven't mastered it properly. I usually don't go for it, but it is a, another option. And of course, you can do this kind of rocket and just rocket through the window. But I like the more aggressive rockets here. But yeah, that's pretty much everything here. The post plan is very, very simple standard on this map. There's no kind of crazy plays. I usually find myself, if I'm playing defensively, I'll play in this angle. You see, I can isolate these 1v1s quite easily. Other one is like back here. You can do these. Nade or bomb, or bomb plant is usually somewhere in this area. You can bounce your nade onto it. That's about your only plays, really. You can also satchel them off the bomb. I doubt you'll have them on this map, though. And the other play is kind of playing on the stairs area. There is a play, actually, okay. We forgot to mention this one. It's the same play as the jet play, right? It's satcheling over here with a judge. This is very good at catching these Sova's off guard. Catching anyone off guard, really. The judge, it's it's a gun I don't talk about much in these guides unless it's blind or split. But the judge in this area, too, is also really good. And if you can get in here and post plant with the judge, it's really strong. You can play this close angle and just stop the retake completely but that's pretty much it 
This is also a solid post plan spot if you want to play way more aggressively. Logs is another good one. Those are pretty much their standard post plant spots that are good. You'll see a lot of high low players do them. Not really specific to raise, but that's pretty much everything we have here now. So that's going to be everything, boys. Thanks for watching. Like, sub, all that shit. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Let me know what maps you want to see. Because I'm not sure which ones people want to see first. I, uh, my split guide, I think, might be out of date. Someone let me know if my split guide is out of date. I will update it if people want that one updated as well. Because I know I made that one recent enough. But I can't remember. So let me know anyway, boys, what you want to see. And uh, yeah. I will be later.